the social work profession is very noble according to me because it deals with human beings ultimately to drive them towards their happiness prosperity and family well being no other profession is closely related to and deep involvement in understanding human behavior and psychology etc in other professions but in our profession this is the crux of the issue but that's why i said the profession of social work is a noble one you may take up assignments in any field it can be medical social work psychiatric social work community development with an ngo or even enter into hr in an organization i think most of the people are entering to hr nowadays because of various reasons everywhere this profession is totally absolutely human related this is one thing we should try to understand here we should set an objective to excel in the job it is not just managing the work in a routine manner but excel which is very important excel leads to great accomplishment of jobs one derives a lot of pleasure and passion for work and there is continual improvement now we are already aware we are in a rapidly fast developing and changing environment in all spheres of activities be it be technical or even non technical this calls for clear understanding of the rapidity and appreciation and adaptation to changes by everyone to start with the change management must be in own self to start with accept the change management and help guide others to accept change this is one of the main task of social work according to me in this time it is for everyone to assert ourselves in our professionalism that's very important we have to assert ourselves in profession in order to accomplish effective professionalism in any area adequate skills and ability are absolutely essential i said there are two skills one we call it as a soft skill and another is a hard skill one should get expertise in both the skills and most importantly balancing if you are strong in hard skills but weak in hard skills it will not work if you are strong in hard skills but weak in soft skills then it is not effective professional so one needs to balance this is very important now here one needs to make his own decision own self should i accomplish effective professionalism or just i will manage as it comes the decision is one self if we decide that effective professionalism i adopt and i continually develop myself towards this the soft skills we have to get acquired what are the soft skills broadly of course there are so many thing but broadly I point out honesty integrity self discipline patience empathy no ego but humbleness and help and guide others understand the problems and social skills this is very important here 
one must acquire the skill of knowing fully all others in terms of everything of the person because this will help you in transforming a person or correcting a person or driving towards a prosperity so this skill is very important and sociability of course naturally and no selfishness under any circumstances now please look at yourselves with full conscious and evaluate yourself as to where do we stand in this in the in terms of these attributes wherever were weak points occurs to you one must determine to unlearn it unlearn it so determine this very strongly and make up the mind and overcome the weak point and unlearn and move towards positiveness i repeat the decision is one zone once you have these positive attributes this leads to leadership one must possess leadership qualities for any task dealing with human human and behavior easing out it may be issue like transforming a person to towards positivity make him discipline or make him ethical make him with a positive attitudes all this works then most importantly the conflict resolutions discipline management healthy grievance management and importantly the change management here if you accomplish this one must one gets automatic respect recognition appreciation and self motivation and your contribution to the profession itself now coming to the hard skills whatever we have read in msw schools are totally mismatched today to the task what we are going to handle here where we needs to enhance the competency the competency building is a continual task one should never gets into a complacency circle if you if one becomes complacency then automatically his learning stops once the learning stops your continual improvement totally stops then you will not be a hard skill person under any circumstances hence this is extremely important to build the competency acquiring is extremely important now for instance now the competency is today talent acquisition inductions let us take the example of talent acquisition in today's context talent acquisition is an important task it is not just interviewing a person and make him take up the job it is not so one has to assess his level of emotional intelligence that is absolutely required because today's business you require a person with strong emotional intelligence so talent acquisition is not a routine but it is to be with emotional intelligence which you need to learn and acquire and do that and for induction and follow ups this will help then performance management system you should be thorough with competence because here also performance management system is a very very delicate 
and an important segment of management and training and development here also assessment of training needs and development and follow up then competition and rewards then employee relations dispute resolutions then align the trade union with business goals this is extremely important friends one has to align the union with the business goals that's the going to be the main task of the hr in other words a professional social worker then collective bargaining then legal competencies legal competency i don't say that you should become an advocate but at the same time you should acquire the complete knowledge of the deep knowledge of the legal provisions applicable to the organization you should be able to evaluate what is right what is wrong then you should be able to authoritatively convince the top management about what is right what is wrong for this you have to acquire legal competency then learn organization culture organization development then motivation to keep the morale hi then apart from business awareness business awareness is extremely important here because you need to forecast the future business and any changes any likely changes the likely challenges the business is going to face you should proactively work towards that and create a mindset amongst the people to prepare them to accept the changes and go ahead this is very very important and at the same time you should develop competencies in other disciplines of management like for it can be finance it can be production it can be industrial engineering it can be marketing it may be cost accountants whatever it is you should acquire thorough knowledge of these multiple disciplines in the factory this is extremely important the uh, competency building here where one must acquire and the skills of learning of case work and group work in the latest models we must try to do that now once you are thorough with all this is a continual learning hard skills is a continual learning and soft skills you have to sustain it and enhance it very very effectively then you will be able to balance the both hard skills and the soft skills and you will become an effective leader this is very important now please debate among yourselves whether what you do like to choose to become a good leader you have to choose your pathway and go ahead with that so thank you all wish you all the best